Hey guys, it's DT back with another prototype from our friends over at XM Studios. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at Sinestro from their 1-6 scale DC Rebirth line. So I've got all the pieces set out here on the table. Let's take a closer look. Okay, and here's a look at all the pieces from the Sinestro. If you guys saw the recovery suit Superman, you'll know that this guy has a lot more pieces. I think the black suit Superman was only three or four pieces. We've got a separate cape, parts of Sinestro. We've got the construct, a bunch of wings, as well as the bottom of the base. This piece alone is very solid. Now this of course is a prototype. The actual production piece may differ from what you see here. From what I've seen, the prototypes are a pretty good representation of what XM delivers. So look at all the detail in this rock structure, all the little crevices. And then we have sort of this empty area here where the parallax construct is going to go. I'm not sure if it's gonna come separately like this, or maybe this part will already be on there. But uh, for this prototype, they have it separate. And this guy's even heavier than that one. This is like one solid piece of cold cast porcelain. And this combined with this uh, makes for a very heavy base. But look at that. Teeth on this thing are just amazing. And we've got this tongue in there. Some little ridges, if you can see that on the upper hard palette. Here's a look at the eye, nostrils, ears, these ridges going down the spine. Here's where Sinestro's foot keys in. When I see this, I think of candy for some reason. That might just be me, but uh, I think it looks awesome. A lot of this is very shiny looking almost gives it kind of a wet appearance. Uh, but then over here, we've got more of a matte paint. And it turns out that this matte paint uh, is actually glow in the dark paint. So when I turned the lights off, I saw this thing glowing on the table. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, then we also get these arms, same great yellow color with the orange shading. Just a look at those huge claws. Very bony-like arms. Here's a quick look at the other one. Position slightly different, but other than that, not a whole lot different than the other arm. And then we have uh, a series of wings. And this also has that glow in the dark paint. I like all the little veins in there, twisted muscles, and very similar on the other side as well. So we've got uh, two big ones. Then we've got two smaller ones. They all look kind of similar. Hopefully I can figure out where they go. And then finally we come to Sinestro. So his legs are separate here. He does have a magnet on his upper body that just keys in like that. He's got some really nice texture here on his torso. This reminds me a lot of uh, the Colossus design where it's got those lines that run horizontally. Kind of the same satin metallic paint. It's got this white stripe that goes around the sides, around the midsection. Then the yellow portions are relatively smooth. You can see some shading in there as well. He's got this very big key on the bottom of his right foot. Now he does have a cape, so we don't have all the details in his back. Um, because we're not going to see them. He's got one portrait. It's this screaming portrait. Very clean looking sculpt. He's got the white hair down the middle, shaved around the sides. Good looking teeth. He's kind of got that painted in mustache. Now on the prototype here, he's kind of got a hole in his mouth where his tongue should be. I don't know if you guys can see that on the bottom there. So I'm not sure, maybe they haven't done his tongue yet, but right now he is tongueless. But I uh, really like the expression on his face. He's got the rage. And then we've got his two hands. Both of them are in fists. Very nice gold color there on his forearms. He's kind of got this gray fingernail polish, the reddish skin tone. And the same goes for the left hand. Uh, but of course this one, has the yellow lantern ring. And then finally, we have his cape. We've got the same gold metallic color on this uh, shoulder piece. We've got the yellow circle up here in front. Nice coloring on that, makes it look like it's glowing. And then we have this nice sculpted cape. 
So you can see all the fold details in there. Some nice shading as well. There is no mixed media here. And that's gonna do it for the pieces. Uh, let's go ahead and put this guy together. So we're gonna start off here with this base. Again, very solid base especially for a 1-6 scale statue. Next, we've got this big guy. So right now, these pieces don't have any magnets. The whole thing kind of just keys into the base and its weight prevents it from moving. Pretty solid, very little seam all the way around. It's kind of cool how it's just kind of coming out of the ground. Let's go ahead and stick Sinestro on here. So Sinestro's got this very large key on the bottom of his right foot and that's really all that keys in. Just goes right in at the top of the creature and slides down. Let's go ahead and finish off Sinestro. So we've got his upper torso, just keys into his body like that. Then we're gonna throw this uh, awesome looking cape and that's just going to slide on to the top here. Really nice fit there. His arms are already attached and we just need to put his head on just like that. Very nice expression on his face. Then we're left with a couple arms and some wings. Left arm just keys in here. Uh, it's a little loose because this one doesn't have the magnets. And his right arm is on the other side. Very ferocious looking pose there. I love the teeth. And then the wings kind of fit in on the sides. Got a big wing in the back. And then the smaller one in the front. And here is the Yellow Lantern Sinestro. Okay, so that was a look at the Sinestro prototype from XM Studios. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I think it's a fantastic statue full of action, detail, and if I was collecting 1-6 scale DC characters, this would definitely be on that list of things to buy. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.